Have you ever wanted to turn yourself into a Disney character? Well, now you can. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to transform yourself or any picture into a Disney Pixar style character using Midjourney. It's super easy, and I'm going to give you all the tips and tricks you need. I'll walk you through several methods, so make sure to watch till the end to learn all the ins and outs of these techniques. So to get started, first of all, you want to go to the Midjourney website. Then you're going to click on this tiny image icon at the top here, and you're going to upload your image. I'm just going to pick this one over here and click on Add. Once the image uploads, make sure to click on it again, then go to the icon at the bottom and change it to the profile icon. Once you're done, it's time for the prompt, which says, cartoon style. Then you have to describe your character. In this case, my character is a surprised woman wearing a pink top. After that, you describe your background, then add vivid colors, and Disney Pixar animation style. Then we need to add the parameters. I'll be using CW50, which is for character reference weight. The most important part is to add a Disney style reference code. Midjourney AI uses SREF codes to refer to a specific art style. In this case, I'm trying to get the Disney style. There are many different types of Disney styles, and I made a video about this earlier. So check the link in the description below, and you'll find the video about several SREF codes that you can use to get a Disney Pixar style. So I'm just this code, which is one of the many that I've discovered. Then go to the settings, make sure you are using the latest version, which is version 6.1, and just click enter to generate the images. I'll head over to my image library page, which has the brush icon. And once it's done, you just have to click on it. Now you might be thinking, well, this image doesn't look anything like the original character. Well, that's because I reduced the character reference. This is what you get when you reduce the character reference, so you're using the source image as a reference and not creating the exact image. But let's say you want to create the exact image. All you have to do is click on the prompt and the image to place it back in the text box. Then remove the CW50 and just add your SREF code and regenerate. Now, you can see that the result looks more like the original image. It still looks like a Disney character, but it has a less Disney-esque style. I actually love this first one, I think it's the closest we got. The other ones also look nice. However, this style that I'm showing you is more like an old-school Disney style. So let me show you another SREF code that has the Pixar 3D style. This time, I'll be using a different image so you can see more of the character. And once the image is uploaded, all I have to do is just add the prompt and change the SREF code to this. Then, regenerate. Again, if you want more of these Disney SREF codes, you can check the video in the description below. And here we go. As you can see, this is typically how Pixar characters look. It's 3D, clean, and modern. So that is how you can turn yourself or picture into a Disney Pixar character using Midjourney. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to encourage me to keep creating amazing tutorials like this. Until next time, bye.